Hello Taurus and welcome to your birthday reading. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, I'm going to just take a look at what the next year has in store for you. I'm going to be doing this for every um, for everyone's birthday month when it comes time. So this isn't going to resonate with everybody. I can't pick up on everybody's energy. That's just impossible. So just take what fits, leave it dull, and uh, let's see what your year has um, in store for you. Spirit angels, what can Taurus and Moon Rising and Venus expect in the next 12 months in love? What do they need to know is coming for them? What do they get to know? What do you want them to know? Okay, a couple more shuffles here. There we go. Okay. So in the month of May, you guys are dealing with the Justice card for a group of you. You could be dealing with a Libra, but not. it doesn't necessarily have to be. What you're wanting is fair and balanced uh, relationship. You want out of your partner what you have given um yeah you want an equal connection you want a simple give and take and you you're wondering why is that so hard for this person why when i've given you my all can you not uh give me the same back The Nine of Pentacles in reverse. I'm sorry. Um, you're, this person has caused you a lot of shakeup in your life. You feel like you are on unsteady ground. You feel like at any moment this relationship could crumble. And for some of you Tauruses, you, are, um, you identify yourself with this person. Um, not realizing that you are beautiful and, uh, yeah, you're beautiful and you can do this on your own if you had to. Um, there's a lack of self-esteem here with this card. Um, a lack of not having enough faith in yourself to move forward, um, alone. The Magician. Okay, you could be dealing with a Virgo or a Gemini here. They, I feel with this card, they're being a trickster. They're not being totally honest with you guys. Or, yeah, yeah, I'm getting this as a Virgo or a Gemini. They're holding back. They're using all the tools they have to get what they want, and they're not caring who it hurts in the in the long run um this is also saying Taurus that you guys have the tools right in front of you to move ahead to move forward to get your self-confidence and your self-esteem back and and be in relationships in your life that are that are fair that are where you get just as much as you give and this could be in work as well you could have a for a group of you you guys have like a boss that's not treating you right or you feel like you're taken advantage of um yeah but for the majority of you this is in your love relationship you have the four of swords next So, come August, you guys, um, you're just going to have to take a break from it all. You're tired. Your heart is tired. Your soul is tired. Um, 
you just you just don't know where to turn anymore so you're going to go and disconnect from the world you just can't can't deal with it right now and look what that did for you come September you have the Queen of Pentacles the Queen is back on her throne by breaking away and disconnecting from the world you realize that you are an amazing person you're loving you're nurturing you care about everybody you have enough finances uh, to make it on your own if that is what you choose to do but it comes with hard work you've worked hard for what you have and yeah this is also um, this is you coming out to everybody, to the world, um, with a new life path. You are committing to something, something amazing, something big. You're starting a new life cycle here. Yeah, in September, you are, I see for this large group of you, you are, you are stable and you're going to, uh, you're going to go out on your own. The Queen of Wands in reverse. October. So, um, in the month of October... There's a fire sign female that's really um, made an impact in your life in a negative way. You feel this woman um, destroyed your family. You feel like uh, they manipulated you just as long, uh, just as well as this magician. Um, this could be a same-sex couple as well. But yeah, you're feeling that things are unbalanced because this uh, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius female caused, they cause you to be insecure. They cause you to be, uh, to have your self-esteem lowered. Um, this person is who you feel inferior to or incompetent to. Um, there could have been a a third party situation and this was the third party if your partner stepped out on you or you stepped out on your partner that's who this could be when it's paired up next to the magician come October you do have the Sun however um, things are becoming illuminated um, for those of you who had things hidden from you they're coming out. The sun is shining and all that is dark comes to light. Um, and it's also connected with the magician and the queen of wands. So secrets are coming out about this Virgo and this Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Um, these, these two people that you're dealing with, Taurus, have secrets that are going to come out in the month of November. But it's really going to send you in a direction that... Um, that will change your life. You're going to start new. You're going to leave everything um, in the past. And you are going to um, really grasp on to what the future could hold for you. Um, yeah. Come December, you have the Hierophant in reverse. So, yeah. Look at these three. You, possibly Taurus, um, have a marriage coming to an end with justice here. Your card in the middle and the Hierophant in reverse. You are, um, you're realizing that this isn't worth holding on to anymore. Um, you're going to commit to a new life. You really gave it all to somebody. And, yeah. You gave up a lot of things for this person. You 
really um, put it all out there and you're realizing that there's just not enough to make this relationship last because these these uh, things that are coming out about this fire sign and this Virgo in your life come January the three of swords in reverse you're going to be healing from this heartbreak you're going to be healing from these things that are coming to light you are going to be resting and recovering on a soul level with the energy backed by the universe and it's going to help heal you it's going to help heal you from this broken marriage it's going to help heal you from the the betrayal of these two people and it's also going to help you get your self-confidence and your self-esteem back up because this is a third party if you see how these are all connected there was uh, somebody that had a third party once again let me remind you this is not for everybody so don't panic because um, spirit is saying you know by today while I'm watching this you already know that your partner had a third party you know about this fire sign um, so if you don't know about it don't panic it ain't for you but um, yeah come the first of the year you're getting over this heartbreak and you're making a choice yeah at this crossroad I mean you've been thinking about this for a long time for some of you over a year a uh, year and a half that you have been dealing with this deceptive uh, situation and you're just right now you're not addressing it right now you're pretending like it didn't happen and you're ignoring it um, 